Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. You can subscribe directly. You don't need somebody else to send you the, uh, the, the, the clip, but you can subscribe, and it's for free. All you need to do is go on YouTube, go to Graphic Online, and hit the, the subscribe bell. You see there's a bell that says subscribe. Hit it, and from that time onwards, every day, you'll get a reminder when it pops up. Living Streams, we meet behind the um, trade fair behind Zenith College on Sundays for morning services and then for uh, Wednesday evening services, the midweek services. Now, um, you know, this morning I like to uh, capture my, my thoughts with memory lanes with God. I, I have come to recognize something that, you know, um, the, the, the attention span of humanity it's so very low sometimes, you, you get it? And the, the, the tendency for men to forget God is very high. And all throughout scripture, you see God say, remember, you get it? Remember the Lord thy God, remember the distant. And God always says, and sometimes even when he does miracles for people, he will tell them, write it down. You get it? Uh, uh, for example, in, in 2 Samuel chapter 1, chapter 2, when uh, uh, Saul and, and and Jonathan Perry, he said, write it in the book of Joshua. Let it be in the memory view of people. They should never forget it. I mean, sometimes people say, oh, uh, God doesn't need us to uh, remember. Oh, he wants us to remember. And he, we, we should be reminded of the good things that he has done. And we, should, we need to be reminded that God does good things for us, you, you know. And, and, and sometimes you show appreciation for what God does for us. God wants us to have memory lanes with him. A man or a woman who has no memory lane is an ingratiate or ingratiate or gratiate or whatever. They, and that person can be a very dangerous person because that person has no memory. And once you're working with somebody who has no memory, it's just a matter of time. That person is going to sting you. It hasn't got memory of any good thing that you have done. God wants us to remember. And in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, he succinctly puts it for us to remember. And God says, look, remember, he told the people of Israel, when you come into the promised land, remember how I did this for you and how I did that for you. And so sometimes God reminds us, and it is important, people with no memories, people who forget, who, who, who write the good deeds of God upon the sons of time that are washed away by the winds of, or the waves of adversity or they are washed away by the waves of convenience and expediency it's very, very, it's very, very dangerous. They are very dangerous people because they have no memory. I mean, even machines have memory. And God would want us to have memory. And God says, remember. So in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, God puts it out there, all out in black and white. Remember the Lord, for it is he who gives you power to obtain wealth, that he may establish his kingdom. So God says, listen, remember him. And why do we need to remember? God said, you need to remember that it was he who empowered you. Who empowered you, wherever you are, whatever you have become, whatever success you have achieved, especially in the area of material gains or wealth or all, all those things. It is God who put you there. You might be brainy, you may be intelligent, but I can tell you this something. There are more brainy and more intelligent people out there, you get it, who don't have half of what you have. Who don't have anything in comparison to what you have. So you have to remember that it was grace that empowered you. And God said, remember God. Because it is he who has power, who gave you power to obtain wealth. Now, guess what? The reason why God said it is because people have a short memory. And God recognized that it is a problem with humanity. We forget and we forget so easily. And sometimes we forget that the good deeds of people are written on the sands of time. And they are washed away by the waves of, ad of adversity or convenience or expediency or forgetfulness. But the bad deeds of people are etched, are etched on stones. 
They are etched on stones to be constantly reminded. But God says, remember me for I've been good to you. He empowered you to get wealth. So what you are, the success you have, everything that you have become, the good things that you see, that you enjoy, the accolades people give to you, the applause people give to you, remember. God said, remember me for it is I who empowered you. So guess what? It is God who empowered you. So I gave you power to get wealth. Now then God become, became very, very specific. He said wealth. And wealth is a very, very, very troubling area. Because by dint of your hard work, you think you have made it. By the sacrifices you have made, you think you've made it. By, 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 by the connections you have, you think you've made it. And it is very, very, very easy to cocoon yourself in, 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 in self-importance and a sense of, I did it. I did it. And forget God. And God said, listen, your wealth, your command, your finances are not everything. He played a role in it. He played a role in it. So he's saying that it is he who gave you power to get to wealth. Then the next thing God then says is that there's a reason why I did it. I just don't do things for the sake of doing them. I always have an aim. I always have a goal. And God put out that goal. He said to establish his kingdom. You know what? The kingdom of God is, is the gospel and everything the gospel carries. Don't be so wealthy and call the church stupid. Don't be so wealthy and call the, the moves of God, the investment of God in the affairs of humanity, don't call it stupid. Don't be so wealthy. One day, you would see. Memory lanes with God. And he said, you need to constantly walk those memory lanes. You need to constantly walk those memory lanes. So you know what? Remember, see you later.